sitting in a room. I've been sitting in this room for 56 weeks now. Have you ever wondered what's past the edges of this frame? I certainly have. Let's look at it from a different angle. We call this room Little Hollywood because it's where the magic happens. My station is just a table with a synth on it, really. The bookcase sits on a couple cinder blocks so that it will fit in the frame, but it is, believe it or not, real. We have another table over here to house whatever needs housing. Sometimes it's a cool synthesizer. In the other end of the room is the station where Pete shoots Instagram videos. The view out the window is pretty nice. I look out on sunny West Asheville. Well, it's nighttime now, so not sunny, but if we were to head out into the night right now, it would sound like this. I have an office chair, but normally I sit on this stool for video shoots. I tend to swivel around in an office chair and I don't like the way the back of the chair looks sticking out into the frame. Also, the stool seems to have a good solid gravitational field that holds me to the floor. The office chair is a different story. In fact, it has this lever on the bottom that functions like an eject button. I didn't see you come in. I am sitting in a field? Not sure how long I've been sitting here, just listening to the sounds around me. There's nothing quite like springtime coming back and the feeling of emerging back into the world. This spring, 2021, here in the southeastern United States, we expect a giant brood of cicadas to emerge for the first time in 17 years. When it happens, it's gonna be loud, way louder than what we're hearing right now. I've always loved cicadas for the natural swells of their chirping. It's a big part of the music of summertime for me. I almost think of cicadas as nature's LFOs. When I sit outside on a hot summer morning, they help me to feel like the world is breathing. And at any time of the year, I can get transported into that mindset. 
when I hear long form filtered echoes ringing out and the music of people like King Tubby. As we're starting to come back into the great outdoors, I found myself getting a number of musical ideas from cicadas. I'd like to spend some time with them. Did you know that there's a mathematical evolutionary reason why cicadas emerge in 13 and 17 year cycles? 13 and 17 are large prime numbers. Some of cicadas predators also have multi-year dormancy cycles, but of smaller numbers, two years, three, four years, etc. Because large prime numbers have no smaller factors, the cicadas emergence years are not very likely to fall on the same year as any given predator. Let's explore this using a tempi. Back to make noise. That's enough of that. I've almost sometimes started to feel like I was in a time warp. It's a little noisier in here during the day. People are working in the building. You never know when the vents will turn on. But let's have a look at some overlapping numbers. I've set a couple tempi channels to low divisions. We'll think of these as predators. Here are the sounds they'll make. Set to low divisions, three, five, and six. For reference, here's what the one sounds like. Now imagine that these sounds are predators emerging every three, five, and six years. We can hear that sometimes one emerges alone and other times they emerge together. Channel four is set to divide by 17. This is the cicada channel. Let's listen to it. Now we will start all the channels on the 17th pulse Cicadas will be alone with no predators. There they are. On the 34th pulse, cicadas will again be alone with no predators. The same will happen on the 51st pulse and the 68th pulse. On the 85th pulse, the divide by 5 channel will coincide with the cicadas. So eventually these numbers will get long enough that cicadas do emerge alongside a predator. But it will take a long time and even longer for them to emerge alongside multiple predators. Now of course in the real world the cicada does have some predators that are out in any given year. But this gives us an idea of why the 17 year cycle is to their advantage. This also makes me think about prime number divisions in a musical context. Let's speed up the clock and set several channels to prime numbers on the tempi. Here we have five, seven, 11, and 13, and we'll use them to create the same four sonic events. Now we have a number of events that rarely coincide, but they create patterns that also don't seem to repeat very often.
looking forward to the cicadas coming out this year, and I'm going to keep in mind while I'm patching in the coming weeks. Do you ever get patch ideas from the natural world? Let us know in the comments.